If you want to play PUBG Mobile and other games with a controller with that game banned, this is the video for you. Welcome to 4 Minute Reviews by TA Tech. When I review something in just 4 minutes to let you know exactly if you should buy. Today's product is the BI Tong G2. This is a gamepad that's designed specifically to let you play any game that you want with it with that game banned. Let's unbox it to see what's inside. So, this controller comes with two parts that are very essential to your gameplay. On the left part we find the product information part, let's toss it to the side. This is the menu for instructions and this one is a barcode for the app you need to connect to your games. And this part right here is something that looks like a flash memory. This one that you'll need is very essential for activating the button mapping for games. And you get a spare thumbstick in case you break yours or lose it. And also you get a d-pad that is different from the one on the controller so you would choose the one that you prefer. And this is the left part of the controller itself, let's leave it to the side and see what else is in the right part. I gotta say, so far the unboxing matches the price tag of this controller, which I left the link for in the description below in case you want to purchase it. I like the clean approach that they took in designing this controller. For the price, it feels very sturdy in the hands and I like the grip they added at the back of the controller so it doesn't slip away when you play. And the quality is consistent with the right part which has one button for you to use. So let's get to the activation part and I'm going to show you how easy it is to activate this controller and use it with any game that you want. So what you need to do is search for the BI Tong app on the Play Store. This app will allow you to map the virtual buttons of the game to the ones of the controller and gives you a seamless experience when playing your games. So after downloading the app let's connect the mobile controller to our phone. So this controller only activates when it's mounted to your phone, as you can see here. The minute I open the controller, it's gonna start connecting to my phone. So I'm gonna connect it to my phone and show you the activation process right now. So now, just swipe up to find the app you just downloaded and go to the bottom right where it says upgrade. Press on upgrade and it's gonna ask you to advance mapping. Press advance mapping and you see there's a lot of options, but one of them is the last one, the Bai Tang activator, which is what we have right there that looks like a flash memory. So now let's give the activation process the permissions that it needs to map the buttons to the controller. Now, connect the activator to the USB cable that's provided with the controller. Then you need to connect it to a power supply. This could be a charger, a power bank, or even your laptop. Now, connect the other side of the USB cable to your phone and wait for the activation process. Now all you need to do is agree to USB debugging to activate the controller for your phone. This process is not gonna take long and you will need to do it every time you restart your phone. If you restart your phone, you do the activation process again for you to play. After the activation is done, now the app will allow you to play the games with button mapping with any game that you choose to play. You could also turn off button mapping as you wish. So let me show you how easy it is and seamless when the transition between button mapping and no button mapping. The minute the controller is connected to your phone, button mapping will appear and activate by itself. As you can see here, all the buttons are mapped to the right places and you can move them if you want to. As for the right part of this mobile controller, it's something that I call optional. It's only one button so you could use it or not use it, but allows you to connect your headphone jack and your charger. So to be able to modify the button mapping, you need to click on this little icon. I don't know why this page does not load, but you don't need this page. All you need to do is press on key mapping settings to get the key maps that you want. If you want to add a button, all you need to do is drag it to the screen to any place that you want. And you can modify the button later, anytime that you want. All these buttons have their own modifications as well. So let's show you with one button. Here's the RT button. When pressing on it, you get so many modifications that you could do to the press. So as you can see here, you can do a long press to the RT button to make a buzz shot if you want to. And you can modify any button that you want to with a short press and a long press. And there are tons of other modifications that would up your game and make you way better on PUBG Mobile. This is why I choose this to be one of the best PUBG Mobile controllers. Because of the high quality experience when playing PUBG with it, the seamless transition between button mapping, the easy activation, makes it an easy purchase for mobile gaming enthusiasts. And as I said with the start of the video, this is a gamepad you could use with any game that you want. You could use it with Brawl Stars, Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, or any other game that you could map the buttons to and play it the way you want to play. So this 4 minute review video has concluded that this gamepad is worth buying. And I do recommend buying it. I left the links for it in the description below if you're interested to buy. So when you click the link from the description below, it takes you to the product page. Here you can buy the product at a discount using my code. Just use the code TATH and it will give you 11% discount on your purchase. This will bring the price down from $64 to $57 using my code. So don't forget to use the code to get a discount. It is also worth mentioning that Busy Future is having an anniversary sale on the website. So many items are discounted and so many of them are more than half price. And the combination sales they're having are worth looking at. So if you're interested in buying tech gadgets and gaming accessories, take advantage of the sale they're having before it's gone. So if you like my 4 minute reviews, give this a thumbs up. If you like the channel, subscribe and peace.